Hello and welcome to your second CSS and HTML tutorial. In our previous tutorial we covered the ID CSS selector. However, in this tutorial we will be covering the difference between the ID and the class CSS selectors. Okay, let's create a div. Um, let's add some text within this div. Let's call this box 1. Okay, let's copy. Let's copy this two more times. Okay, let's just let's change the text here. Let's call this um, first box. Okay, second box. And third box. Okay, control S to save and let's preview this in our browser. As you can see here, first box, second box, and third box. Okay, now like we did in our previous tutorial, we use the ID CSS selector to add um to 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 reference this el the a unique element on the page to reference one element on the page and so we call this let's call this um box one okay then we use the pound sign and the name of that um id the value of that id um attribute uh, which is box box one we open and open and close curly braces and um, we we created some decorations such as let's create a uh, give it a font size font size um, 32px control s to save and let's preview this in our browser as we can see here the font size of that unique element right here has been changed to 32 pixels however if we want to reference um, multiple elements on the page we use the class CSS selector okay now the class CSS selector the attribute the HTML attribute uh, name and value will be class equals and whatever name we want to come up with let's call this box okay control s and we do the same thing for these elements right here class name and the value will be box and class and the value will be box as well Okay, control S and let's um, now to reference these elements we use the period or dot, right? Then the, the, the value of the class name which is uh, the value of the class attribute which is box. Okay, open and close closing open and close curly brackets and then we recreate our declarations. Um, let's say font size 32px for each one. Okay, now control S save it. Now let's preview it. As you can see here, the font size of each um, of the text within the, the each of the elements has been changed to 32px. Let's give it a border. Okay, we can say one, let's give it a border of 1px solid and let's give it a color of um, black. Control S. Okay, you can as you can see here, each of these box elements, the um, the the border has been changed um, to a thickness of one px. The type of border, let's we give it um, solid, and the color of the border is um, black. Um, we can say the background color. Background color. Um, Let's give it a uh, blue. We could we could type in the name blue as well. Control S to save. Okay, the background has been changed to blue. Okay, uh, let's give it. Uh, let's change the color the, the color of the text. Um, we can give it um, white. One two three four five six six S. Okay, as you can see here, the color of the text um, has been changed to white. We can also change the style, the font family, the, the type of font we use. So we can do a font family. Um, we can say, um, let's give it sans serif. Okay, now we can give um, multiple uh, fonts. We can the the sans serif is the 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 the, the first uh, font name we put in is the the default font that's going to be applied to the the elements. However, if the browser does not recognize that font, we can uh, put in other fonts that um, will be will take will take the the first font's place. Let's call it. Let's give it another one of. Um, uh, let's give it another one of um, Verdana. Okay, and Arial. 
okay so if the browser does not recognize sans serif then it will fall back to verdana and then it will fall or if it does not recognize uh, verdana it will fall back to um, Arial as well okay um we could also apply um we can also apply multiple class um class names to an individual element so let's say we could let's say the third element here we could give it um, another class name which which we could call it box two okay and then we can make reference to box two by saying dot uh let's say box two open in curly brackets and let's say we can give um we can give it a, an a, a let's say give it a border okay border one px um, solid red okay control s to save and as you can see here the border of this third px right here has been changed um to red okay this is, we can add multiple class um class class val class names um to an individual um, element on the on the page okay well this this concludes um our second tutorial um do ensure that you do subscribe and i will see you um in further tutorials thank you